What you will see over the next 15 to 20 minutes is a display of the productivity and flexibility that make this machine right for you. So we've got Rick Kavner. He's our product specialist for JCB Industrial. Hi, Rick. Everybody say hello to Rick. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. And we've got Darren Brooks. He's been with us for quite a while now. Um, he's our product manager. So hi, Darren. The attachments being used here today have been supplied by Cascade. So I'd like to offer some thanks to Andrea Everson. Uh, and Steve Eggington for their help. If you have any questions on attachments, then obviously it's maybe take the opportunity to discuss it with these guys later. Okay, so we're Darren safely at the wheel. Enter the world's most versatile counterbalanced forklift truck, the JCB Tele Truck. The three and a half ton two wheel drive uh, machine is the largest of our two wheel drive uh, units, comes in with a turning radius of 2.8 meters. The 3.5 tonne is 1280 wide, which is only 100 millimetres wider than the 2.5 tonne, the smallest machine. Now, this 3.5 tonne machine will lift the full 3.5 tonnes of the body up to its maximum lift height of 4.4 metres, as he's demonstrating here. So, 4.4 metres. Now, for single side wagon loading, this machine still gives you 2.1 tonnes at 2 metres forward reach. Also significantly for our three and a half ton range is a new power plant, which is a 3.6 litre, I believe it, we can fit one in this machine, a 3.6 litre normally aspirated Deutsch engine. And this replaces a 2.2 litre Perkins, giving our machines improved power char characteristics for the jobs we tend to do. So Darren's actually going to go over to the wagon at the back of the arena here now and pick up the green, I guess that's a polo by the looks of it. He's going to put a fork through one of the windows and one over the roof. And what that allows him to do is, using the power of the rotator, turn it, uh, turn it clockwise and actually counteract the weight of the engine. And obviously makes it makes for safe handling. And he's going to bring the, bring the tele-truck uh, back over towards the, uh, the arena here and load it at reach onto one of the cars stuck to your left-hand side. I'm sure if you're aware, though, that government scrappage scheme and other manufacturing incentives are designed to put some life back in our ailing motor market. But the result of all that is a very active ELV market. Unless you're directly involved in that market, you probably never really considered the difficulties of handling end-of-life vehicles, not to mention the legislation and deep pollution requirements. Quite often, vehicles here would be loaded onto a deep pollution rig uh, for, the, for the oil to be taken out and the petrol to be removed. The Teletruck has been the truck of choice for many recycling applications, in particular ELV. Sims Metal have made it really clear that the Teletruck is the only machine for them, with a repeat order of 29 JCB Teletrucks. The Teletrucks will be used around the UK. Now, many, many other major metals recycling companies are also using the Teletruck because of the size and the versatility it offers. And just look at this. It's probably a bit over two metres forward reach there. As in this display, the cars are likely to arrive at the scrap metals yard in all sorts of conditions, so the flexibility of the Teletruck really is ideal. Rick's just jumped into our two and a half ton Teletruck, uh, the smallest of our machines. Uh, this was first introduced in 1997. Two and a half ton lift capacity and 1.4 tons at two meters reach. What Rick's doing is collecting a pallet that's tipped up at the front of the arena. Now, can you imagine doing this with it's got products, 100 kilograms, 200 kilograms of products inside that box? Well, with a telly truck, and I've done this, it's really easy to do, and it's collected that. You can't do that with a standard fork truck, clearly. So it makes easy work of fixing that problem, no fuss at all. As you see, this two and a half ton telly truck enter the container, 
you'll start to appreciate what makes our machine different. As you see Darren here returning with the car, the stability of the machine really makes it perfect for this type of application. Look at this, easy as you like. Free lift, forward reach standard, and it really makes it ideal for, tech, for container work. So what he's doing is showing again, you see plenty of forward reach applications here today, but he's reaching over a box in the container to one at the rear. And obviously having excellent free lift makes a big difference, but you can really see what he's doing inside there as well, which really matters. A standard mastered fault lift will typically need a, well, we'll need a three-stage mast um, for container work, which will potentially restrict your vision by up to 50%. Now, with all Teletrucks, with our 100% forward vision, now the Teletruck, as I said, has excellent free lift. You add this to the benefit of the fork rotation, and as you've seen, you can retrieve products if they tipped up during transit. Okay, so the next job that Darren's going to get on with is going to take the 3.5 ton 4x4 up this ramp to the rear of the arena. Now, it's something you wouldn't dream of doing with a standard two-wheel drive machine, but what it will, will demonstrate to you is a control of the hydrostatic system. This Teletruck that Dan is going to jump on weighs over five tons. So it's a, it's a fair weight to take up there. The machine absolutely is totally in control. Loading and offloading vans is not as easy as you might think. Once you've offloaded the first row of pallets, how do you get to the second? Well, with a standard fork truck, you're going to, you're going to have to either have long forks or you're going to have to tie uh, straps around those pallets and drag them back. Now with a Teletruck, he's just going to obviously use the benefit of our telescopic boom and reach in. Just look how easy this is. I don't know if anybody's got their, their stopwatch on with this, but you know this is a really quick process. Uh, the driver actually only wants the last two pallets out of the three. Again, you know, just complicating things a little bit further. Now, straps in that situation won't make much use. And looking at Darren coming down the incline there. He's actually not using the brake coming down there, he's just using the flow of the hydrostatic unit. So one of our customers in the express parcels market saves seven minutes per van, 12 vans a day, five days a week, just by using a Teletruck in this way. This improved productivity allows him to undertake other work in the time saved. Darren's actually just going to enter uh, sort of a bale loading area. The bale comps are typically used in the recycling industry for paper, plastic bales, quite common. But the area that he's going to here is very typical of a large bale storage area where it's very narrow to get in. Now this Teletruck measures 1400 millimeters wide, making it ideal for this application. As, it, as, as we've seen in a f on a few occasions, the forward reach to collect a bale that's tipped up is something that you wouldn't do with a standard machine. So the 4x4 is not only perfect for the reach, but it's also good for the traction. And typical to this type of environment with waste paper and plastic bales, the ground conditions might not be perfect. Uh, certainly waste paper um, during sort of the winter time becomes very slippy and so 4x4 really does make a difference. So Dan is just going to load that to the far side of the, the flatbed. So the 30D 4x4 that Rick's driving is fitted with a change easy system. This allows the operator to change from one attachment to the other without leaving the cab. Now this machine is a little bit larger than our two-wheel drive equivalent um, with a turning radius of 2.9 meters. It has a maximum lift height of 4 meters as he's just demonstrated and a capacity of 3 tons. It can still lift however 1.5 tons at 2 meters forward reach. That's the far side of a wagon. So Darren's just coming back into the tight bale loading area, pick up another bale, take it to the wagon.
one of the things with the, the change easy unit, I mean, very often with a standard machine, uh, the time taken to change attachments means that realistically that it, it, it's not often worth the hassle. And if, it's, if you need to change several times during the working day, um, then you probably, you probably would have a different machine for each job. But with a Teletruck and the change easy system, it really does mean that you've got two machines in one. Just see how quick this is. The pickup that's just arrived, um, really just sort of highlighting the benefits of, of our machine working in the waste electrical uh, goods industry. Now this is driven by the WE directive and I'm sure some of you are involved in that. Effectively what it means is that all retailers involved in the supply of, of white goods in this instance are obliged to take back your old products for safe disposal when they deliver new. Now handling a wide variety of white goods can be difficult. Like the cars, they uh, rarely arrive uniformly stacked for offloading. The chances are there'll be in a pickup like this. But just look at this. I think it speaks for itself really, you know, the ability to be able to correct loads in that way. And clearly, you know, the Teletruck, um, as a fork truck, is capable of doing a lot of different jobs. So one opportunity, as I said, was the reorientation of products. And the example that we're using here is turning this tyre from a vertical position to a horizontal. And it might be that, as a manufacturer building wagons, involved in agricultural machinery, that you might find handling a tyre in different orientations will really help with the manufacturing process. The other aspect of Teletrucks in tyres is a recycling, uh, recycling industry. Now, with all the vehicles being scrapped every year, and the millions of tyres that are generated as, generated as a result, the Teletruck really offers some massive advantages in, in tyre recycling. Typical yard conditions in, uh, in recycling yards are not perfect and even with concrete yards shredded tyre parts and waste make it difficult to travel with a conventional machine. Because you can fit a wide range of attachments you could fit a grab bucket which would allow you to handle waste tyres in bulk. The size manoeuvrability of this machine make it right for the job. I'm sure you'll agree that this type of storage in front of the, uh, the skip is typical of many yards. But with a JCB you can live in the real world and just reach over. Skip utilisation can be enhanced further by compressing the waste with the hydraulic power up and power down. So what you can do with sort of medium and light density products, but with medium light density products you can actually compress uh, the, the products in the skips by pressing down. The benefit of that is that you can reduce the frequency of your skip higher. You probably get about 30% saving well, Darren's just jumped onto our three and a half four by four with the Builders Merchant Bag Easy Bucket. What we're going to show you, show you is how easy it is to fill the bags with our Bag Easy Bucket. The Bag Easy is a multi-purpose bucket with hopper doors on the bottom, which what you see means bag filling is an easy one-man operation. You're just going to hook the bag on. So combining this attachment with the pow powerful four by four means we can push into the sand or aggregates with ease. It's also worth uh, noting the protection at the front end of this machine. You can see how unobstructed it is and, how, um, and we have the underbody protection uh, uh, making the machine incredibly robust. Now these machines are suitable for small or large builders merchants and the key advantage is it removes the need for a hopper unit or an, and wheel loader if you have loose aggregates. Further to that you can bag your products on demand. I think that's quite important. If they want it loose as well you don't need to split bags and you can just reach over a van or pick up and uh, open the hopper doors. When you finish, you can take the bucket off, you can put some forks on and carry on with your general, general yard work. All the machines here have a fully enclosed hydrostatic drive unit which is built for the toughest of applications. 
It eliminates the need for costly maintenance of external brakes. The machines have ROPs and FOPs, so that's rollover protection and falling object protection. So this is a really, really tough cab. And it's absolutely the safest place to be in the event of an accident. So these are other things that you, know, that you might want to consider when comparing them against a standard unit. No masts mean no carriage, no roller bearings, hangers, chains. And if it's working in a highly corrosive environment, then you know, it will reduce the cost. They're all fitted with load indicators. So what that does for you inside the cab, it means that picking up a load, you're taking out the, the guesswork effectively. So you can pick up a load, you know that it's within the safe working limits of the machine. But one last maneuver, Darren's going to bring the telly truck close as it feels safe up these steps. You see, even the steps are nothing for this tele truck. What we're illustrating here is the controllability of the hydrostatic 4x4 unit and the strength of our machines. In summary, this is no ordinary forklift. This is a JCB tele truck.